Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator the Motivator, and this is episode 99, The Benefits of Vitamin C. Guys, welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast, a podcast where we focus on those three pillars of fitness, spiritual, mental, and physical fitness, to grow us closer to the Lord on this journey we call life. And if you're a returning viewer or listener, I very much appreciate your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing the show. Thank you for all the ratings, the reviews, the comments, the engagement. Uh, that really means a lot to me. If you're brand new to the show, uh, welcome. Uh, I, I hope you find this edifying. Each week is a journey that we just kind of go along and have a little little chat about something that will help us grow in one little small aspect of our, of our lives. Uh, if you like this episode, please subscribe to the show and go back and binge watch the entire series. That way you, you can grow a little bit in, in your life. So we've got lots of content. Uh, please check out the Three Pillars Podcast website. Three Pillars Podcast at WordPress.com. That'll take you to my Twitter feed, my blog, um, some workouts of the day, quotes of the day that you, you know, you'll find some of the other places, but it's all kind of co- uh, coagulated there in one space uh, there on WordPress. If you are so inclined, this is a really neat app. It's called Good Pods. Check out Good Pods. It's a kind of like a discovery platform. It lets you kind of uh, curate some of your listen to uh, podcasts. You can go follow other other people. And kind of like Goodreads, and it lets little shows like mine get discovered. Right now we're like number two on the charts in some of the categories in Christianity, religion, spirituality. It's really awesome to be up there. I, I can't thank you guys enough. A uh, big shout out to Joe Ruciello with the Sword of the Spirit podcast. Check him out on Good Pods. Check him out anywhere that you can find the podcast. He's a very great teacher when it comes to uh, biblical theology and how to be a better person um, with your relationship with Christ. So if you want to get more in depth in that, check out the Sword of the Spirit podcast, wherever you can find podcasts, uh, Apple, Spotify, you name it, and definitely give him a rating on Good Pods as well. Uh, He's been showing a lot of love, so i got to do the same back. Shout out to you, Joe. Thank you for all you do. We're going to talk about vitamin C today, and we're going to take a little little, little, uh, surface level dive into it. Just going to give you guys some ideas of why you should be supplementing if you didn't know already. All right, so as always, we're going to start with a quick word of prayer. Then we want to dive right in. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. Thank you for life. Thank you for purpose. Thank you for giving us the tools and the resources and the people in our lives to be better each and every single day. Thank you for being our guiding light. Thank you for being our focus amidst the storm. Lord, I ask that you be with me today. Give me the words to say. Give anybody tuning into this the eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to receive anything that will grow them closer to you, Lord. Lord, I ask all this in the most holy name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So we talked about vitamin D3 before. This is another little segment on vitamin C. Why should you take vitamin C? Well, I've got a couple points we're going to go over and hopefully convince you why you should at least be incorporating into your diet, whether by the things that you're eating or by some of the supplements that are out there. Not endorsing any supplement companies, a lot of great ones out there. Um, obviously not getting paid to do this. So uh, go to your local uh, homeopath or go to your local vitamin shop or something and there's always going to be some kind of vitamin C supplement, whether it's in a gummy form, tablet form, um, what's a gummy tablet any like a soft gel, anything like that. It depends on how quickly you want it to hit your system, right? Um, you can get it for your kids. It's super important. Back in the old days, when people were getting scurvy really bad when they were coming across the seas uh, from, from Europe over here to America and traveling all over the place. People were getting scurvy, they couldn't figure out why. Well, it's because they were vitamin C deficient. So they were eating either limes or lemons or oranges or whatever it was, and that was a, a huge benefit to them. Um, and it, it, it all ties into your immune support. So that's kind of our first uh, point here. I've got it kind of outlined out, so we're just going to go into it. So your immune support. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in supporting the immune system. It aids in the production of white blood cells, which are essential for fighting off infections and maintaining overall immune function. So when you supplement with vitamin C, it basically uh, supercharges your white blood cells. It helps you produce more. If you think of it, your, your body's like a battlefield, right? If an invader comes in, your white blood cells stand up and they're ready to go fight, right? You have some that are already in reserve on standby, but you can't have white blood cells, you know, constantly on the attack, right? They have to kind of just go around their their normal duties, taking care of bacteria and things all over the place. But if you have a strong immune system, you've got vitamin C levels where they're supposed to be, that's going to help if your immune response in the event something comes in from the outside, you put something in, you get a little... Uh, cough, sniffle, cold, something something happening, your white blood cells can spin up a lot faster and overtake that invader. So immune support, 
That's why you need to take vitamin C. Second one, antioxidant protection. As a potent antioxidant, vitamin C helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. It neutralizes harmful molecules and helps prevent oxidative stress, which is associated with various chronic diseases. So it's an antioxidant. It's gonna help you, help your blood from getting stagnant, basically. It helps uh, fight off the free radicals. A lot of things coming into our bodies from the outside, a lot of EMF waves, a lot of uh, just garbage because of the things that we're eating and the water that's not clean, all these things. You know, it's, it's better here than some places. It's better other places than it is here, but the better you are at protecting yourself by having something like vitamin C in your system, the better antioxidant uh, protection you're gonna have and gonna keep your body running at optimal levels. So your immune support, obviously, antioxidant protection, number two. Number three, collagen formation, okay? Vitamin C is essential for the synthesis of collagen. Collagen's a protein that provides structure to the skin, bones, tendons, and blood vessels. Adequate vitamin C intake promotes healthy skin, wound healing, and maintenance of strong connective tissue. Kind of goes back to the to the the first point, immune support. If you've got a high level of of white blood cells because you've got a good vitamin C, you're you're eating healthy, you're doing all these things. You're going to if you get wounded, you're gonna your blood's gonna clot quicker and your wounds are gonna heal heal better. Your skin's gonna look nicer. Your bones are gonna be, have more structure to them. You know you tie vitamin C with calcium, some of these other things. I'm focusing specifically on vitamin C, but there's a lot that goes into this. Is just one aspect. It's a very layered thing. Multivitamins you can get. The foods that you're eating, a variety of things are going to help you with this. Uh, strong bones, healthy skin, uh, and you know, your connective tissues, your joints, your muscles, everything like that. That's all going to play a role because of the collagen. Collagen is that protein that's kind of like not necessarily a building block of your skin, but it helps you give that good elasticity, helps it uh, maintain those strong connective tissues. So collagen formation, that's the next one. Next one up, we'll on. number four, enhanced iron absorption. Bet you guys didn't know that. Vitamin C enhances the absorption of iron. Uh, um, excuse me. Vitamin C enhances the absorption of non-heme iron from plant-based sources. Consuming vitamin C-rich foods or supplements alongside iron-rich foods can improve iron absorption and help prevent iron deficiency called anemia. Ladies, there is a certain time of the month that you guys experience where you uh, experience a little bit of blood loss. Blood contains iron. When you're low in iron, you become anemic. If you're having that special time of the month, you should probably supplement not only iron because you're losing but vitamin C because vitamin C will help you absorb the iron into your system. That will help you from feeling, if anybody's ever been anemic, guys too, if you've ever been anemic, you're so tired. You might bruise really easily. That's signs of anemia. Vitamin C, coupled with iron in this case, ladies, is gonna help you uh, hopefully maintain your energy levels and it's gonna to get to your system uh, more with your vitamin C. Um, and again, just like I said, with iron-rich foods, it's gonna help with your iron, iron absorption. So iron helps carry oxygen throughout your body. Iron uh, oxy helps oxygenate the blood. That way, every, all the, the oxygen you're taking when you're breathing, you're doing cardio, you're doing lifts or anything like that, it's gonna to get to your extremities because it's got more in it. So imagine your, your little white blood, or your little red blood cell now is filled more, with more oxygen because it's got iron, pumping iron, right? The vitamin C is gonna help you absorb that iron and get more oxygen to your, your extremities. Little science lesson today, yeah? Next one, skin health and aging. Due to its role in collagen synthesis and antioxidant properties, vitamin C contributes to healthy skin. It may help reduce the appearance of wrinkles, protect against sun damage, and promote a more youthful complexion. So skin health and aging. Vitamin C, and again, there's studies on this stuff all over the place. I could probably find some and put them in the description box down below. But these are just kind of high level points, right? Um, your healthy skin, vitamin C, vitamin E, we talked about vitamin D before. It's gonna help you couple that with the natural sunlight that you're gonna get. It's gonna help you maintain a youthful appearance. People that pay attention to this stuff, now I'm 35, okay? I still get carded at, at the gas station, right? <laughs> Some of you guys probably do the same thing. I'm not saying I'm like, got a baby face, but I got a little bit of baby face, all right? I 
have been looking into some of my health and diets and things like that. I attribute a lot of it to the vitamin C I take, the vitamins that I take otherwise, D3, zinc, NAC, um, a multivitamin, whatever. I don't eat like complete garbage all the time. And, and I work out, work out, I fill my brain full of great stuff with books and, I, and I'm close to the Lord and rooted in scripture. Not trying to brag on myself, but I think that has a big part of why uh, I've got this little baby face, right? Maybe good genes too. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Um, <laughs> all that being said, though, uh, take a look at what you've got going on. If you're not getting these things, you're mineral deficient, vitamin deficient, you're going to have wrinkly skin. If you're out in a tanning bed all the time and you're not doing something to rehydrate your skin, or if you're just like, you know, you see these kind of old leathery ladies and, and dudes out there, you know, you got to put stuff back into your system that's de when you're depleted. And if you can maintain a high level of that, keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself uh, vitaminated, I just made up a word, uh, and mineralized, <laughs> you're going to have a more youthful appearance. And it's going to help to reduce of wrinkles and sun damage. So if you guys are listening to this, not looking at it, watch the video about minute 11, really goofy smile face right there. So there you go, boom. Maybe that'll be the screenshot so you can see for... Uh, um, for the little the, the thumbnail right um but that's uh another reason you should take vitamin c uh the last one eye health okay vitamin c is associated with a lower i'm sorry vitamin c is associated with a lower risk of certain eye conditions such as cataracts and age-related macular degeneration amd okay it helps produce it helps protect the eyes from oxidative stress and supports the health of the blood vessels in the eyes. Again, we talked a lot about blood and how, how vitamin C helps keep the oxygen going through your blood and because uh, it's attached to the iron and everything like that helps it be delivered more efficiently. Does that not make sense that it would help your eyes and keep your eyes stronger? I think so, right? So just like they say eating carrots and the beta carotene and everything like that, all of these things just basically at the end of the day having a very well-rounded diet is going to help you with all of these things. But specifically, uh, vitamin C can help with your eye health. So if you have poorer vision, maybe up some vitamin C over a period of time. Again, this, is, this stuff doesn't just happen in one dose, right? And I'm not telling you to go OD on vitamin C. Because you, you, you take too many vitamin C, you're gonna get sick as a dog because you've, you've oversaturated your system with something. Usually these things come in 500 to 1,000 milligram capsules, tablets, gummies, whatever. You probably just need one a day. If you're a little bit, if you're a little on the sick side, if you're a little under the weather, you feel something coming on, bump it up to maybe 2,000 milligrams a day, something like that. For a couple days till the symptoms go away and then back, back off, all right? But you still have to drink your water. You still got to exercise to try to keep that that uh, the lymph flowing, keep everything flowing in your body, the blood uh, pumping to your extremities. All this has to happen in conjunction with the vitamin C intake. This is just, again, one aspect of a, of a whole part. So you got to have uh, a little bit of everything. Okay. Obviously, medical notes. You got to throw it in because I'm not a doctor, but I'm not a dummy either. So it's important to note that while vitamin C offers numerous benefits, it's best to obtain it through a well-rounded diet rather than relying solely on supplements. Duh, you need to eat your oranges, you need to eat your citrus, you need to eat anything that's got vitamin C in it in conjunction with the supplement. Don't just pop pills all day long because that's not, that's not good for you either. <clears throat> you want it from a natural source, food is king. But if you're a little bit low on some of these things, supplement it. That's why it's a supplement to the diet that you have. There you go. <clears throat> now, what has vitamin C in it? Fresh fruits and vegetables, such as citrus fruits, strawberries, kiwi, bell peppers. I love bell peppers. And leafy greens are excellent sources of vitamin C. So, if you notice a lot of those things, it's a rainbow of colors. Bell peppers, red, kiwis, green, strawberries, red. I'm good at colors. <laughs> Your citrus fruits are you know, green. They could be orange. They could be yellow. Uh, and then obviously your leafy greens. That's where you're gonna get your vitamin C, not just in a, in a pill form. As with any supplement or dietary consideration, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice based on your specific needs and circumstances. Again, this is very high level stuff. It's not, this is 
there's a big umbrella. Everybody's a little bit different. It's just not a cookie cutter uh, solution to everybody. Maybe you need to get some blood work done. Go see your doctor, go see your uh, phlebotomist or whatever, get a, get a blood draw, run the numbers and see if you're deficient in something. Maybe the vitamin C can help with your iron absorption. Maybe the vitamin C will help with your, your whole immune support. Maybe you're deficient in some, something else and you, and you have now addressed it. Get your blood work done. Very, I highly encourage that. Stay active, keep moving. I just went on a run <laughs> not that long ago. You guys probably saw that well, about two weeks ago. Um, I have done more since then. Thank you very much. Um, but it was eye-opening <laughs> to say the least. But it's something that you gotta do. You gotta stay moving, whether you're, you're lifting in conjunction with your cardio, make sure you're reading good stuff. I just finished uh, uh, The Silmarillion not that long ago. I just started uh, The Dune Saga. Uh, I've read Dune uh, one before, but there's like six books. I got them all. I'm just trying to plow through them. They're, they're phenomenal. Something that you can exercise your brain. And most importantly, root yourself in the scripture and, and the, the living word of God. Uh, again, this this podcast focuses on a, on a holistic method to it. This particular episode is uh, so focused more on the physical aspect, what you're putting into your body to make it uh, make it stronger. But all those other things play a key role. Once everything's flowing in the right um, in the right path, um, it's hard to stop that. Okay. So keep yourselves active, keep yourselves healthy, supplement your diet with vitamin C, get it from these natural sources, and you guys will be feeling a lot better uh, real soon. Again, not overnight, stuff that doesn't, doesn't get fixed overnight, but incorporate it into your diet. Don't make it a diet, make it a lifestyle. Good to go. That's all I got for you guys this week, uh, the benefits of vitamin C. Uh, thank you guys as always for tuning in. Uh, if you liked this episode, please drop a comment below. Like the episode if you're watching on YouTube or whatever. If you're listening to it on Apple, share the show. If you haven't left a rating on Apple or Spotify or wherever you're listening to, if you're on Spotify and you don't listen to Apple, go log into Apple and leave a review there too, <laughs> and vice versa. Find me on Good Pods. Uh, go over there, leave a rating and review there. Uh, share that to the winds. Uh, check me out on Twitter. Check, check us out at Three Pillars Podcast website. Uh, you're going to see, if you have been paying attention, there's a lot more blogs going on. I've got one a week. Uh, that I'm trying to put out. I've, I've been pretty successful so far. So I hope you guys I enjoy that. I hope you find that stuff edifying. Let me know if you don't. I'll see if I can change something up. If you do, leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you want to see on, on the Three Pillars podcast. Episode 100 is next week. I'm very excited about it. Episode 100. Leah's coming back on. We're going to have a phenomenal discussion on proper sexual health between married couples. I think you guys will, will enjoy that. Um, I'm hopefully get that in the can here pretty soon. So all that being said, guys, that's all I got for you. I'm Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobin Native Motivator. This is the Three Pillars Podcast. Going to end with a quick word of prayer and kick you guys out for another phenomenal weekend. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I love you. I, I, I can't say that with any more... There's nothing, nothing further I can say, Lord. Thank you for, for loving me. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being with us, Lord. We just we can't praise you enough. Thank you for giving us an understanding of this world, which is you. You are of the world. You created the world. You are living with us, around us, in us, outside of us, outside of our comprehension. And this little space that we have been blessed with is just a... a a minutia of what you are. You are infinite, God. And every single day we get to learn something more about you. And it's an incredible journey because there's so much and it's infinite. It's just infinite knowledge and wisdom that flows from you. And we thank you for that sense of wonder and curiosity to bring us closer to you just by looking around, Lord. Thank you for the plants, the animals, the food, the things that we put into our bodies that we eat that keep us healthy, help us to continue to live more healthy, stronger lives for you and for our friends and our family, that we can just be with you eternally. God, I ask that you just bless anybody tuning into this podcast today, uh, help them to have peace, help them uh, increase their strength, and most importantly, Lord, help them increase their faith in you every single day. In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, again, thank you very much. We will see you next week. Looking forward to it. Tobinator, out.